In this telephone conversation, I hypnotized Mrs. Zara Bamane, who is suffering from malignant lung cancer, with her eyes open, which is called hypnosis in wakefulness. In this phone hypnosis I tried to first relax her, and then clear the false information stored in her unconscious mind. This is exactly the goal of hypnotherapy. Erasing this false information from the mind returns the body to its natural balance to strengthen the patient's immune system and self-healing power against illnesses. Zara had previously been healed of her alopecia totalis disease and her infertility with my advice and following the natural diet of raw vegan and spiritual therapy, and now she trusted my words. Her friend named Maria, due to a synchronicity event, on the night when Zara was badly ill in the hospital's ICU, she learned about Zara's bad health condition and went to visit her. That night, Maria called me and told me about Zara's malignant lung cancer, and I asked her to let me talk to Zara on the phone. Listen to the rest of this divine healing story in this podcast. If you are also suffering from a serious illness, the information in my conversation with Zara can help you to heal naturally and spiritually. I am Dr. Reza Hakbarast, consultant and lecturer of spirituality and naturopathy, and manager of Panah Academy channel on YouTube. Panah in Farsi means taking refuge in a place or someone who will save you from danger. But the word Panah is abbreviation of Persian Academy of Natural Automated Healing. If this podcast was useful for you, please like it and subscribe to Panah Academy channel. Listen to my podcast on the summary and interpretation of the book Proof of Paradise written by Dr. Eben Alexander on the Panah Academy channel. Please also send me the divine healing meditations that you prepared yourself. Okay, I will send you those meditations. In that podcast on Panah Academy channel on YouTube, you will hear the story of Dr. Eben Alexander's brain death. Dr. Eben Alexander's situation was much more difficult than yours. His brain was rotten, but your brain is healthy and your lungs are rotten. His brain infection caused his confirmed brain death, but he miraculously revived and after two months his brain was healed. He did not believe in God before his illness, but he went into a coma in the ICU for a week. In a coma, he traveled to the upper world and saw God and heaven and believed in God. Listen to the podcast of his healing story and connect with God. Notice that, your illness is nothing but being separated from God. Why do I say that you are not connected to God? Because you said that you still have sadness, which is a sign of not being connected to God. Oh yes. I got it. You are right. Now, do you understand your real problem? Oh yes. Really I got it. Those who are separated from God and have sadness and stress, even a healthy raw vegetarian diet will not help them. I know a woman who was a raw vegetarian for 10 years, but she got four types of cancer and died. She called me before her death and told me that, I am a raw vegetarian, why should I get malignant cancer? I said let's find the cause together. I asked, how sad are you? She replied a lot. I asked if you have a grudge against anyone, she said yes. She was jealous and made ignorant judgments. I told her why should you be fine? You got it? Do you have a grudge against someone? No I don't. Thanks God for that. Okay, so tell me what is the reason for your sadness and stress? The reason is some private problems. Tell me those personal problems, so I can mock them for their insignificance and smallness. Whatever those problems are, they are funny and ridiculous. It's true. You have to understand this. If you do not understand, you will not heal. It's true, I understand it. The main problem is that we do not know God, the same person who created that personal problem for you, and you are sad because of his or her, is God's agent to make things difficult for you on purpose. Do you understand it? Yes. I got it. In this situation, you should be grateful for his or her bad work that makes you grow. Not to be sad. I understand it. 
Have you abandoned the raw vegetarian diet and eat meat? No, not at all. What about eating bread? No, not at all. Even here, in ICU, I still eat raw food. Okay. It's great. So your main problem is sadness and stress. Which is more dangerous than eating meat, rice and bread? I have already told you about these principles. That you must not be sad and stressful. Do you remember? Yes, I remember it. Now, I realized that sadness and stress is mother of all illnesses. Someone who is sad and stressed, shouts that I don't know God, I don't have God. Do you understand it? Yes. So, be strong, and even don't afraid of death. Do you afraid of it? I do not afraid at all. I swear to God that I am not afraid at all. Even the ICU nurses say that your spirit is very strong compared to other cancer patients. When they talk to me about chemotherapy, I don't worry at all. I am not worried because I know that my God is the most powerful healer. They even told me that I should go to Masa Dinesh Veri Hospital in Tehran. I imagine to myself that if I go to this hospital, they will throw all the medical documents in the trash and tell me, everyone was wrong about your cancer and you are healthy. It is good that you have such a strong spirit. But why are you stressed and sad in this situation? What is this duality for? When my husband heard the news of my cancer, he was very sad and cried. I told him not to worry, I will beat cancer. Good job. There is no defeat for human beings, except to be separated from God. There is no failure for someone who is connected to God. Imagine you die of cancer, is that a problem? We are born on a certain day and one day we have to leave this world. No one can stay on this planet forever. This way of thinking and your sentences are correct, but your behavior is not correct. In my opinion, a person who reaches this level of awareness, should no longer be sad and stressed. Okay, I got it. With this kind of thinking you have, even if your two hands and two legs are cut off, you still should be grateful to God. I swear to God, in the most difficult situations, even in difficult surgeries that I have had so far, I have always been grateful to God, that through this I grow spiritually to reach God. Well done. I enjoy and am proud of you for having this opinion. But I am surprised and worried that despite having this beautiful belief, why are you sad and stressed? Why is this duality in your words? You should not have this duality. I was infertile before and I followed your advice and now I am pregnant for the first time. Last night I talked to the fetus in my stomach that I am going to abort tomorrow due to chemotherapy. I told him that you have come to make me aware and develop spiritually. You were my guest and you came to give me a message and then leave me and I know that you will come back to me again. Your insight is great. Mrs. Yari had eye cancer and was pregnant like you. The doctors were supposed to give her chemotherapy and said that there is a possibility that the fetus will miscarry, but she refused to have chemotherapy, so as not to harm the fetus, and requested that her left eye be removed. Sometimes after removing her eye, she called me to advise her about raw food diet and spiritual healing. I told her about the natural and spiritual healing of eye cancer for two people. She said I wish I had talked to you before I removed my eyes. I told her not to worry, it was God's will that one of your eyes was removed. 
But in the case of those two people who were healed, it was God's will that their eye cancer be healed. You should be strong and don't worry and trust God and be grateful to have your right eye. You should see the world much better now with this one eye than when you had two eyes. I told her that you now, have a valuable experience and you should share it with others. And with this experience, help others to connect with God. You should write a book about it. She followed my advice and wrote a book entitled Hura. I asked her why you chose the title of the book, Hura. She said that Hura is the name of my daughter who I was pregnant and I did not want her to miscarry. In this book with few pages, but very useful, she wrote that now I see the world better with one eye than when I had two eyes. She now sees the world with the eyes of insight and wisdom. Yes. Exactly. You have reached the same stage now. At this stage where you are, you should say that I am no longer sad and stressed. Even if your two hands and two legs are cut off. We do not own any of our body parts. We do not own anything. The main owner is God. This way of thinking is very beautiful. When you feel better, write your book. For sure. I would write it. Doctor, you gave me hope with these words. I believe now that I will be fine. Please don't say that. What do you mean by I will be fine? I mean the destruction of the cancerous tumor. This expression about your cancer recovery is not fair at all. What should I say? You must say, I'm fine, because I have healing God with me now. Okay, I got it. Our main illnesses are our ignorance about this fact. Say, because I have God, then I am fine. I accept your words. The words we say, have a kind of energy. Your friend Maria told me that you are too weak to talk to me. But, look how you are singing like a nightingale. You are really right. I am now lying on the hospital bed and my hand is aching too much and I can't hold the mobile phone by myself. Maria is holding the phone next to my ear and I am worried about the fatigue of her hand. You still need to learn more. Instead of saying I want to get better, you should say I am fine now. Yes. I'm fine now. Because, you have God with you. Are you waiting for the cancerous tumor to disappear and then tell me that you are cured? It is possible that I, who am a lecturer and consultant of spiritual healing and natural nutrition, will get cancer tomorrow. Do you think that I accept chemotherapy to cure me and to keep me survive? If God wants me to return to the upper world, who can stop God? If God wants me to survive in this world, who can bring me back to that spiritual world? If I get cancer now, I will trust God to heal and not seek conventional treatment. Because if I die of cancer, I will return to my true home in the spiritual world above. But people who are dependent on virtual material life in this world are afraid of death and are looking for common methods of treatment. They are afraid to return to God. Do you understand it? Yeah. I understood very well. Listen. Since you and I started this phone conversation until now, 1,000 people have died in the world. They didn't have cancer, but why did they die? And why are you still alive with malignant cancer? Did you get it? I understood the issue very well. Doctor, I mean, I understood it deeply with my heart. If you didn't have cancer, you wouldn't understand these important issues. You had alopecia and you were healed. But alopecia and that healing could not open your spiritual eyes. Now, God wants to open your spiritual eyes with cancer. Yes. Really God is opening my eyes with cancer. Now say, thanks God for gracing me this beloved cancer. Thanks God for gracing me this beloved cancer. Good, you did it. If it was from your bottom of your heart, you totally healed. Healing is not the removal of your cancerous tumor. 
The real healing is that you do your mission here well and return to God with pride. For sure. I return back to God with pride. A person returns to God with pride who are not sad or stressed. From now on, I will return to God with pride. This difficult situation gave me another chance to be born again. Should I put this audio file on my channels on the internet that will open the spiritual eyes of other patients? Yeah. Please put. They should listen to these spiritual words. Good job. How beautifully you said it. Doctor, you are full from divine love and light. The message of God is flowing in your language, with your words. A strong peace filled my whole being. God is witness that I am telling the truth. Now I feel so well that I feel like I should go home. I feel that I don't want to stay in the hospital anymore. Consciousness is the greatest power of a human being. Consciousness is of God. Our slogan on Pana Academy channel and Spirit Restaurant website is God is light. Light means consciousness. So God means consciousness. Person who has consciousness means he has God. One who seeks consciousness means seeking God. Do you understand it? Doctor, I feel that the cancerous tumors are gone from my body and I am healthy. However, I want to proceed with the common curing steps. Great, you did it. Now you should read this poem crafted by Baba Tahir. One person likes pain and another person likes cure. Repeat it after me. One person likes pain and another person likes cure. One person likes to be in a relationship and one likes to be separated. One person likes to be in a relationship and one likes to be separated. Among the issues of curing, pain, being in a relationship and separation. Among the issues of curing, pain, being in a relationship and separation. I like what God likes. I like what God likes. Now you understand the story of your illness. Yeah. Please send me this poem in WhatsApp. Now feel yourself in the healing arms of God. Always say to yourself, My God is the mighty God who created two trillion galaxies. Therefore, God can also vanish my tiny cancerous tumors. Tonight God vanished them for sure. Look how well I speak now. This means I healed. Even last night I did not believe my illness. I removed the oxygen mask last night and the nurses warned me about it. I told those nurses that my breath is not in this plastic mask, but in my inhalation and exhalation. My God is in my inhale and exhale, not in this plastic mask. This mask does not give me real oxygen. Now, by God's witness, I feel healed and a new spirit has been blown into me. I could not talk like this before. Now I want to get up from the bed and call you on WhatsApp with a video so that you can see that I have recovered. I will call you with a strong voice and in a good mood tomorrow after I have miscarried the fetus. Good job. It's wonderful. I want to do the usual treatment steps as well, but now with a much stronger spirit. Tonight, through you, God informed me and God's message delivered to the fetus in my womb and also myself. My fetus will leave tomorrow and will return when its mother reaches spiritual awareness. He will come back to aware me more. You are exactly right. After complete divine healing, be sure to read the book. Destiny of the Soul by Dr. Michael Newton. Okay, Maria has this book. I will get it and read it for sure. Great. Also read Your Sacred Self by Wayne Dyer. Maria has this book also. Okay. Read it also, or listen to its audiobook. Okay. For sure. Buy and listen to Your Sacred Self, micro-audiobook from Kadabra Application in Iran. 
You can listen to it in half an hour. By reading the interesting statements that Dr. Wayne Dyer has written in this book, you will be stress-free and connected to God. And you find your sacred self, inside yourself. And you find healing glorious greatness of God inside you, by listening to this short audio book. Doctor, now I found the strength to get up and sit on the bed and lean on the pillow. God bless you. I got well. My voice is stronger now. God sent me two angels of salvation tonight. First, Maria, then Dr. Hockber Rast. Maria decided to call you to help me. Thank God. And also the fetus in my stomach. He was a messenger from God who is going to return to God tomorrow and will return to me again. My fetus inside me says, Mom, I gave you my message. I am waiting for you to reach spiritual awareness so that I can come back to you again. Good, but it is better not to predict anything in advance based on your wishes. Say, if God wills, it will happen. Read the poem that I did read to you before and say I am satisfied with the will of God. Okay, please read this poem and record your voice and send it to me on WhatsApp. Okay. If you want, I will also send you the audio file of this conversation. Listen to this conversation again and think about the divine healing power within you. Be sure to listen to your sacred self book. Now say, thank God for giving me this dear cancer. Of course from the bottom of your heart. Thanks God for giving me this dear cancer. God, thank you for causing this dear cancer that made me aware of the greatness and glory of your existence inside me. Thanks God for this cancer that made me to know myself better. And it made me not to be sad and stressed anymore. A person who has God, does not have stress and sadness anymore. You already miraculously cured my alopecia totalis. Now, I trust your healing power. I know that you always want the best for me, and you never want bads for me. I wish this was a video call and you could see my good condition. Okay, now I will make a video call on WhatsApp. Doctor, Zara got up now and wants to go. Where does she want to go? She could not even speak. Thanks God. See, this is how the healing and glorious power of God proves itself within us. I am also excited and have tears of joy in my eyes. Now I am in ICU and I can't make a video call. But I will make a video call as soon as possible. And I promise to do an internet live program with you about this healing. And now I, Zara, have gone through everything and reached God. It's interesting. I had a live show tonight on my Pana Academy YouTube channel, with Angela, a resident of Germany, whose eye cancer was healed the same way. The doctors, who were disappointed with the common treatment of her cancer, wanted to surgically remove the eye. And also Mr. Haidar Bayat, whose eye cancer and several metastases were healed, were in that live. Watch the saved video of this live on Pana Academy channel. I talked to Hader about these things and made his connection with Angela, and Hader was no longer afraid of cancer and recognized his healing power and got healed. I will send you the link of my first conversation with Hader, which is on the apparit.com site. Hader was afraid of cancer before. But after the conversation with me, he became aware and understood the true meaning of cancer, he was no longer afraid of it. And that's why healing haters cancer was like pressing a button for God. Marjan, who is a lady living in Canada, was also suffering from malignant cancer and had refused by medical doctors for cure. Her sister, Majkin, was worried about her and called me. Such as Maria that was worried about you and called me. I told her that Marjan should always be hopeful because healing God is her supporter. Healing Marjan's cancer is very simple for this strong and healing God. Marjan was also healed by reaching this awareness. And now she is alive and healthy. Many cases have been healed by God in this divine way. It is not at all strange for me to hear that the most difficult cancers and diseases are healed in a very short time. If you call me tomorrow and say that I am cured, I will not be surprised at all. Why tomorrow, just now those tumors disappeared? Great. 
I wonder when God takes more than three minutes to destroy tumors. In my case, God removed the cancerous tumors during this conversation. Thanks God. I can speak very well now, without any pain. Listen to the power of my voice now. The tumors are gone. My cancer is healed. Thanks God. I have helped many people who have been healed by talking to me on the phone. But for their healing, I don't have the main role. God does all the work of healing. In these healing conversations, I just remind the patients about the existence of a powerful healing God in them. I teach them this and learn from them. Yes. So I learned this from you tonight and you added to your experience through my healing. Listen, the story of your alopecia totalis healing after following my advice was interesting and I talk about it with patients who called me. With those patients who worry about hair loss and have alopecia and those who still think that wheat bread is human food. Because based on my practical and scientific experiences, wheat gluten is one of the main causes of hair loss in alopecia patients. I have always wished to have a conversation with you about your alopecia healing and record it for alopecia sufferers to listen to. This conversation between you and I was great. I might say that it was the best conversation I have had with a patient so far in these 10 years. So God is telling us, don't rush, I will fulfill your wishes on time. You are exactly right. We must make our heart stronger for more tolerance. And we should always say, I like what dear God likes for me. I like what dear God likes for me. Doctor, I want to call you now on WhatsApp so that you can see my recovery. Okay, now I turn on WhatsApp. Call me. We end the conversation here. Bye. Bye. I hope that those who listen to the audio file of this conversation, find the divine healing power within themselves and reach to salvation and enlightenment and pray for Zara. I hope you enjoyed this podcast and that it raised your level of awareness. Gaining awareness in this world is our main mission. Our consciousness is our main wealth in this world. In the eternal spiritual realm in the upper world, it is the wealth of our consciousness that remains with us eternally, not the material wealth that we accumulate in this material world. Our goal in Pana Academy channel on YouTube and self-learning course of spiritual therapy and scientific secrets of natural healing on spiritfeeding.com site, is to increase the eternal wealth of your consciousness. If this podcast was useful for you, like it and subscribe to Pana Academy YouTube channel and ring the bell, in order not to miss the new podcasts of Pana Academy. Send the link of this podcast to patients with difficult and incurable diseases who are disappointed with common treatments. And also send the link of this podcast for those who are not sick and want to prevent serious diseases. God bless you.